In this video, we're going to talk about the footprint of companies and other organizations. We're going to talk about how the, the footprint of companies is really the sum of all of our individual footprints. We're going to talk about how they are an important part of the sustainability problem and how these positive and negative side effects of the companies out there are the way to uh, address the big sustainability concerns of our time. I have a footprint, <laughs> we do, an organization has it, and a society also has a large footprint. And these footprints are, we think about them sort of collectively, an indicator of how sustainable or how, how unsustainable we are. And perhaps one of the most interesting measures of our current unsustainability is captured in what is called Earth Overshoot Day, as I know. According to the Global Footprint Network, today we're using 1.6 Earths, but last time I checked, we only have one. That's right. So this is a measure of the resources that we're using, uh, the capacity of the planet to take up the emissions that we're emitting, and so on. So it's sort of a rough measure of how many planets we would need uh, if we wanted to live sustainably. And 1.6 is the global average, but if everyone wanted to live like a Norwegian, like us, we would need four planets. This tells you that collectively we are living our lives in a very unsustainable way. We are lending resources now from the future, but I'm not sure, <laughs> we're not sure that we will ever pay this back. This is perhaps the best way to think about this as a form of ecological debt to future generations. Uh, in recent years, the, the date for Earth Overshoot Day has moved with approximately one week every year. So, for instance, in the years from 2016 to 2018, it moved from August 15th to August 8th and then to August 1st. So that means that for a bigger and bigger part of the year, we are really using the resources of the future. Earth Overshoot Day is a representation of our global footprint. But in this video, we're going to talk about the footprint of the company. And the footprint of the company is tied to the activity that all of us as consumers, as employees and so on, leave on society and the environment. And it's important to note that part of that impact is positive and part of that impact is negative. That is, the footprint of the way we shop, the way we live, the way we travel, and so on, has both a positive and a negative side on society and the environment. This means that companies are a part of the problem, but they're also a part of the solution. Because you think about the impact of companies on society and the environment. Yes, they pollute. Yes, they pay taxes. Sometimes they don't pay taxes. Some of them are corrupt some of the time. Some of them may violate human rights. Others create products that improve our health. Other uh, create products and services that improve the health of the planet. What we need in the future is that companies reduce the negative side effects and that they increase the positive side effects on the planet and the people living here. This means that companies need to work systematically with their footprints, doing less of the bad things and more of the good things. This requires innovation. We need new products and services. We need to organize ourselves in new ways and we need to find new ways of earning money, earning a profit that reduces the negative side effects and increases the positive ones. This is at the same time a challenge for us as individuals. It's a challenge for companies and it's a challenge for us collectively to get from a situation where we are an overshoot, that is, that we're spending societal and environmental resources in an unsustainable way, to a situation where we are using those resources sustainably. 